Have you ever wondered why some businesses thrive and others barely survive? Well, it often comes down to one fundamental quality, financial literacy. Understanding your business finances is one of the most critical aspects when running your own business and, overall, leads to your growth and prosperity. In today's podcast episode, I'm diving into a topic that's absolutely a cornerstone for every business out there. Taking the time to understand and build your financial literacy, as well as the financial foundations for your business, is crucial for your success And it doesn't matter if you're just starting your entrepreneurial journey or you've had a business for a while. It's all about laying the groundwork and moving forward with your financial understanding. Whether you're starting a business or side hustle, you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant, Having an understanding of the tools and financial knowledge will help you take control of your business's financial destiny. If you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, whether you're starting a business, you're building your business, or you're serious about growing your business, I want to invite you to work with me so that you can meet your goals in the most accelerated streamlined, and efficient way possible that also aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. As a CPA, business strategist, and coach, I've created two options for you to choose from when you work with me. The first is my Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. This is a group program where we have live weekly business meetings and coaching sessions to answer your questions so that you can generate revenues and increase the profit in your business. You can learn more about the Profit Lab by going to financialadventure.com profit. Or, if you like the idea of working with me on a more private, one-on-one basis, you can schedule a free consultation session where we'll go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. During this session, we'll begin to map out the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. I'm helping my clients start their businesses, become more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business and their finances while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal lives by utilizing business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support. You can schedule your session today by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the Work With Me button. By taking action in your business, you'll achieve your goals. By keeping everything simple, you'll avoid confusion and overwhelm. You'll understand your business finances, your next steps, and you'll follow through with the vision that you have for your business. My goal is to help you dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right. As an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. Each week you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Welcome back. Today, I want to start off with a quick story. Picture this. You're the owner of a cozy little cafe. You've got the best coffee in town, loyal customers, and a passionate team. But you're struggling because the numbers aren't adding up. 
you're not sure where your hard-earned money is going, and that dream of expanding to a second location seems like it will never happen. But what if I told you that with the right financial knowledge and a few practical strategies, you could turn things around? What if you could transform your cafe into a thriving chain, all by understanding and mastering your finances? I want to talk about some of the tools and knowledge you need to take control of your business finances. Financial literacy is the ability to understand and effectively use various financial skills, whether that's in your business or in your personal life. These skills include personal financial management, budgeting, and investing, just to name a few. You can increase your financial literacy with books, courses, and of course, by listening to this Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, so you are in the right place. Let's start the conversation with budgeting. I know many of my listeners don't like to think about budgeting for their businesses, but it is an important place to start with your business and even your personal finances. When you're creating your budget, you're taking into consideration your budgeted revenues as well as the expenses you foresee with your business. Let's take the example I mentioned earlier with the local cafe. If they were setting up a budget, they'd be able to budget what they thought they would be bringing in for their revenues. And they would also be able to budget for their expenses. When they do this, they would know exactly where they're overspending and if they're not meeting the financial goals that they set for themselves. Make sure that when you are setting up a budget for your business, that you set it up so that your business allows enough cash flow to achieve the goals and the intentions that you have for your business. Once you have this budget in place, you can start to do some financial forecasting to see what your plan for growth will enable your business to do. Having organized financial systems will be another area that you want to focus on in your business. I've mentioned many times on this podcast that I highly recommend QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online to help you automate the bookkeeping for your business. Not only does it streamline your finances, but you're also able to enter your transactions one time and you can pull up information about that transaction in a variety of different reports, which enables you to understand your finances even more. I understand that not all business owners are ready for a computerized bookkeeping system, which is fine. Just make sure that when it comes to your bookkeeping, you have a solution that works for you and that you're able to stay up to date with on all of your bookkeeping, and that you have a system in place so that you can find transactions easily if you ever need to for an audit or other circumstance that would require you to have proof of your income or expenses. If you find that you're constantly searching for paperwork or certain information for your finances, take the time to get organized. I know it may seem like you're spending additional time on something that you already don't have time for in your business, but over time, you'll surely thank yourself for getting organized and relieving some of the stress that business owners have when they're unorganized or when their bookkeeping gets behind. I also want to touch on a few of the common pitfalls that business owners face. One is overspending. It can be easy to overspend in your business, But if you're following a budget, you'll see quickly where your overspending is happening and you'll be able to put a stop to it before it becomes an even bigger problem. Another pitfall that I see business owners experience is neglecting taxes. This often happens when their bookkeeping is behind and they're not ready to file their taxes. They then file an extension, but they still don't follow through and a few years may pass before they have their tax returns prepared. To save yourself a lot of stress and anxiety, make sure that you have a system in place so that your bookkeeping is up to date and you can follow through with all of your tax obligations by the due date. Having a plan in place for this alone will not only save you penalties and interest, but you'll also find that you're able to make better business decisions without all of the stress and anxiety you had when you knew you were behind on your taxes. 
If you feel that you're unable to stay up to date with your bookkeeping, it might be time for you to find a bookkeeper who can help you. Just imagine how much better your decision making would be in your business when you're able to see exactly how your business is doing on a month to month basis and you're able to comply with the requirements of your business. Take a minute and think about the financial foundations you have with your business. Think about this for your personal life as well. What is the first thing that's coming up for you? This may be the best place for you to start to ensure that you're building a solid financial foundation for your business. If you're unsure about what you could do next, I'd like to ask if you've created a budget for your business or your personal finances. If not, this could be the perfect place for you to start. There are many options for you to increase your financial literacy and understand more about what your financial statements tell you about your business. If you feel like you need additional help with the financial foundations in either your business or your personal life, so that you can relieve the stress, anxiety, and overwhelm that you're currently feeling, I'm here to help. Having an accountant and certified life coach like me can provide you with valuable insights and ideas to help you simplify your business, which enables you to go back to enjoying your business like you thought you would when you first started it. I work with business owners and accountants to create the actionable steps that they need to take to ultimately achieve their goals while getting relief from the stress and overwhelm that they feel from the pressure of owning a business, the deadlines, and the workloads that they face every day. If you're struggling with this as well and would like some help developing a solution, help strengthen and maintain your emotional health, increase your well-being, create a more positive, happy, and joyful life, set and achieve your goals, and manage your relationships, I'd love for you to join me in my Balanced Life Coaching Program so that you can live a more purposeful life. Each week, we meet privately, one-on-one, and you get to bring whatever is on your mind on any given week. It could be your highest priority that you want to work on, whatever you want more of in your life, or if there's something that's weighing on you heavily that you need coaching on, and we'll work through it together. Having a certified life coach like me helping you through all of this allows you to be so seen and cared for, and the results are amazing. Everyone benefits when they work with a certified life coach. After every call, you feel energized, and you know exactly what to do for the week to come, and relief knowing that we'll meet again the next week to go over anything that comes up after the call. You'll gain self-awareness, while you take each step towards your goals. The investment in this program is an easy yes for you. I've set this program up in the most supportive way for you. If you're ready to join the Balanced Life Coaching Program, you can go to financialadventure.com and click on the Work With Me button. You'll see the link to join as well as additional information about the program. Sign up now. There are limited spots available for this program due to the one-on-one aspect, and it does sell out. If the payment link is gone, you can get on my wait list to join the program when additional spots are available. I help people get results and live a more joyful life. I coach everybody on everything. Everyone has something that they want in their lives, and I help them get it. I know this is something that you've been waiting for. I've been asked by many of my listeners to create this exact program. The faster you get access to the program, the quicker you'll see the possibilities that are available to you. I also have a risk-free guarantee. I believe so strongly that everyone benefits from coaching that when you sign up today, if for any reason you're not satisfied with your first session, you can send us an email and we'll refund you immediately. Are you ready to enjoy your life now? Why would you want to wait? Make this investment for yourself. Take the journey with me. Make it happen for yourself. Ask yourself why you need this program in your life right now. Are you ready to make bigger, bolder, stronger life goals? I'm looking forward to meeting with you soon and digging deeper to see where you currently are in your business or your career 
and to start creating actionable steps so that you can reach your vision and your goals for the future, not only in your business or your career, but also in your personal life. I'm ready to work with you, see all of your successes, and watch you thrive in your business or career while creating your best work-life balance. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners and accountants where you're listening to this podcast. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you will take away from this episode that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line? If you need some accountability, join our private Facebook community and post your action item. We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. Thank you.